Hey my little geeklings, what is up? It's me, Heidi, of course. Um, today I was actually planning on doing something a bit different. Um, you know, like I'm doing I was planning on doing a monologue from the Vampire Diaries. Now I know, you guys are wondering, where did she get that from? Who gave her that idea? What the hell is going on? <sighs> No need to worry, guys. I can... I've been acting for a while, and I can definitely pull off the part as Elena Gilbert, because, you know, all the depressing parts about her. Me. Anyways, guys, let's get to the monologues. Hope you guys enjoy. Monologue one. Something happened today. I realized something about you. About us. And you can say that it's the sire bond. You know, and you know what? Maybe, maybe it is. But I'm telling you, it's the most real thing I have ever felt. I love you, Damon. I love you. Monologue 2. You want me to face the truth? This is the truth, Stefan. I don't want to live here anymore. I don't want these sketches. I don't want this Xbox. I'm not gonna need this bourbon anymore. Alaric is not here to drink it. I mean, unless you guys want, were willing to bring back every supernatural creature on the other side to get him back. Would you? I know you want your drinking buddy back. Would you, Damon? Because I wouldn't. There's nothing here for me anymore, Stefan. Every inch of this house is filled with memories of people that I love die, have died. My mom, my dad, Jeremy, and, and, Je and Jenna, and Alaric, John, even John. I mean, they're all dead. Everyone is dead. I, I just can't. I can't. I can Monologue 3. Think about it. It's so obvious. Go back far enough. There's one person who, who brought us to this. Who ruined our lives? And look at you two. Everything that's happened to you, she did that. She brought Klaus to Mystic Falls. She turned Caroline into a vampire. She killed my brother. It all comes down to her. Catherine. Okay, Seven, you said to focus on one thing, so I did. I focused on hate, and I hate her so much. Monologue 4 I give up, Jer. I really wanted to kill her for you, but there's no point. Stefan's right. It's just a distraction. I, I can't. I can't do this. I, I can't. I, I can't move on, and I don't want to. If, if that makes me weak, then fine. I'm weak, but I can't handle you. I can't handle you being gone. And I can't handle feeling like this anymore. Monologue 5. Fine. Then I'm not sorry either. I'm not sorry that I met you. I'm not sorry that knowing you has made me question everything that in death you're the one that makes me feel most alive you've been a horrible a terrible person you made all the wrong choices and out of all the choices i have made this will prove to be the worst one i'm not sorry that i'm in love with you i love you damon monologue six you want me to blame you easy done you screwed up damon again you put me in a position where I have to defend you again, where I have to bend my morals again, where I have to go against every single thing I believe in again because I love you. Monologue 7. I want you to thank you for giving me everything I always wanted. A love that consumed me. Assumed me pa and passion and adventure. There's nothing more than I could ever want it than for it to last forever, but it can't. This is the last time I'm going to see you. 
This is goodbye, Damon. Final monologue, monologue eight. I knew the love of my life would stand by his best friend, even if it meant you have to live without me for a, a while. No, they're not, Damon, because you're not going to sit around waiting for me. This isn't going to work if you're just going to shut down. I need you to live your life. Enjoy yourself. I want you to be happy. Now, how about that dance? You ready? I love you, Sam Damon Salvatore. Well, what did you guys think about my reactions and whatnot? Um, um, give me some advice or whatnot. I will see you guys later. Oh, by the way, comment on my costume that I got today. Finally, it came in the mail. So I'm just like, yay! Anyways, I'll see you guys later. Mwah!